Hello everyone, good morning, evening, afternoon and day. Good day. I'm and Stella here. And Tarrant. From Maple University, we are excited today. We are going to play this game. Behind us? Behind us, eh? Quite all. It actually, uh, the rule book comes with the pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation. Oh, I yeah. didn't see that. If you have Did a look here. Right? <laughs> uh, here, at the bottom there. Page nice. number two. Did you know? Kotal is the pronounced Kotal. 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 So that's it. So hopefully we're saying it right. Just so, the feathered snake. That's correct. So in Aztec. So we are priest, high priest of Aztec trying to gain points to be the popular something. High priest. High priest. <laughs> so welcome everybody. Um, we have uh, this live playthrough. Welcome to our live playthrough. As usual, Taryn's going to explain briefly how to play the games. Just like a quick summary and you can learn as you go. You might see it live, you may not see it live. Hopefully you still get value either way. Yes. And uh, if you have any questions, um, put it uh, right in the chat room. And if you have, um, oh, also we will announce uh, we will draw a lucky winner to win a copy of this game worldwide. So we're gonna give more information a little bit later. We're gonna announce it after our live playthrough. So after Taran's um, explanation, <coughs> we're gonna do um, to play this uh, full game of Quattle. Do I say it right? Yeah. Yes. And then we're gonna draw a winner. This is a, a newly released game, correct? Is it just out we'll be or released, coming out? Coming out. Coming so out. So I believe it will be out towards the end of September okay. so you know with the you know pandemic at the moment it might be slightly delayed so and if you have any like if there's any issue or anything please let us know just in case you can't hear us or anything but everything should all be good and not laggy of course um, you are our eyes and ears yeah <laughs> you're good at that and so selling hello here two people in the chat room and hello Bryce Henderson Arjun Fate, hello, um, Sarah Red, Lillian, and Solomon, Olifa, Milau from Netherlands. Yeah, thank you. On, please say hello in the chat room and then just say what country you're from. Um, it's always like, I feel like every, I, I say it almost every live stream, if I can remember it, but it's good to see everyone from different parts of the world um, connected here. Uh, there's Dennis and Matt. And Kieran Ranger as well. Yeah, it is It is a cool game. We play this and um, I first knew about this at Gamma Trade Show before everything just got shut down the lockdown. I got yeah. back to Australia just before. The day before um, mm -hmm. day before quarantine was imposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully everyone's doing good. Um, Adamus is in that room as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Fade Mad from Ontario, Canada, Canada, Poland, nice. Uh, there's Netherlands, um, and now there's Australia, a lot of Can um, Canadians, mm. yeah. very good, one day we'll, we'll be there. Mm -hmm. I'm missing a few, oh, Canada, yes, so I'll recognize a lot of the names, um, and Fate said, did you do any karaoke with YMCA? <laughs> no, well, we wanted to do karaoke, but um, Taryn's just too shy to sing in the live playthrough, so we'll do it later. Alright, we should probably like get to this game. So you know, um, for those who of you you who want to know how it plays, then here we go. Okay, uh, so here we have our basic starting setup. Uh, this is fundamentally a game of collecting pieces of quartals. So it's kind of a tile collection and placement thing, but they're these very cute interlinking um, snake pieces, like yep. so. And the game is fundamentally about collecting these and collecting these cards and then merging them together into um, long coatles that meet the objectives on these cards. Uh, so you can see a card like this, it shows on here. Maybe on the side. It might go over to the side. Um, I think this is called a prophecy card. Uh, down the bottom, it shows a sequence of red, green, red, green. And in the corner, one times equals five. And so if you played that onto a koatl that you've constructed that has that sequence in it, you gain five points for that. Um, and there are also some that you can score multiple times. So this one would be a green, any number of yellows and a black in a sequence in your koatl from head to tail. 
if you've got one of those and you play this card to that Coatl, you get two points for it. If there's two of them, you get six. And you can put four of these... Maximum. Prophecy cards into each Coatl you construct. Yeah, a four which is head and tail and whatever yes. bodies you want. Minimum one body. Yep, so on each turn we're going to either take two pieces from a sector of this... Um, the common board? Circle yes. board. Or one head or one tail. They'll go onto our little player board. We have a space for eight. Mm -hmm. Or we can start or finish constructing a quadrille, or we can pick up these cards. It's basically three options. Yep. Uh, the game will play until someone has completed three quadrilles, or until I think one of the bags is empty. I can't remember. I don't but think that's that... unlikely to happen yeah, in two players. Two players so yes. It'll be until one person's created three quadrilles, and so there's a bit of a race element there as well. If you're working on really long ones, mm -hmm. but you don't quite get them finished, and the other player knocks out some short ones, mm -hmm. then... Uh, yeah, you could find yourself a fair way behind. That's correct. Also got a couple of little bonus tokens here that we'll explain it go later. through as they come up. Yep. So just uh, maybe show the um, oh furious the first player thingy. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a coin one. I don't know if that comes with everyone, but it's actually actually got stuck on the outside of our box. So maybe that's kind of like the first edition has got that on the outside. I'm not too sure, but it's really cool. There's a cardboard version of it as well, um, yeah. and um, that's the um, yeah the first player. So Taryn is the first player. Taryn yeah. starts with three uh, three cards and half. I start with four and I'll pick one. Uh, sorry, I'll pick three and discard one. And Taryn doesn't discard anything. Uh, well, and um, did you mention these as well? Um, oh, in brief, so in yeah, brief. other way, other ways of scoring um, of scoring points. Right. So we Let's discard. We each get to start with one of these. Yep. Yeah, um, and you can either score one off the top or mm -hmm. there's a way of picking them up later as well. I really like these cards. If you see it here, Taryn, please don't look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, on the side, like this, this is just the one, but on the side, if you, if you fan it in your hand, you can see the requirements on the left hand side as well. So it's kind of like, you know, they, they must have thought of this, right? Because you, have, you can have maximum five of these, you can just fan it so it will remind you of what is needed. Yeah. And Solomon was right, Solomon was right, yes, I missed just the, just missed the hotel quarantine thing. I was actually started with self-quarantine and then hotel quarantine a bit later. That's true, it, yeah. was, it was the self-isolation yeah. time. Um, you still did self-isolate. I did, yeah, I still did it, but... It became mandated the day after you returned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is this game is all about combinations. Yeah. It's all about working out what from here is going to work with what's in the hand. Yeah. And with what's on the board. Alright, Taryn, you are the first player. I've discarded my fourth card. Yep. Of the prophecy card. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to, because I'm um, short in space, so I'm going to put my um, course here. hold here. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hello Panda Angel, welcome. Sorry I'm thinking, I didn't look at my cards before we started playing, so... Yeah. I'm seeing it all for Where the were you? Time. I had to set up everything this morning. I was <laughs> scripting all of our other videos. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's okay. fine, that's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, um, also, my birthday is this Wednesday, so I asked Harriet to do um, some quiz, um, some trivia, for just, you know, for our friends to, some of our friends maybe to do it, we'll see. Come on, Alright, I'm going to start by taking these two cards. Mm -hmm. So that takes me up to five Prophecy cards in hand. That's actually a good move because then you kind of like aim on what you're going to do. And you can't really do exactly the same card twice. Is that correct? Um, pretty sure. I'm not sure. Yes, yes correct. it is. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure. Cool. So let's say if you have this card, exactly this card, um, then you can't use two of these on the same cotton yep. twice or more than more than once I should say. Alrighty, I will take I might actually do what Tarrant does as well. So I'm gonna take this one. And I'll also take I can take one more. The thing is I can't discard it once I've got it in hand. So I kinda like have to stuck 
There is one way too, which is uh, this token. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, correct. But yeah, once you once you get one of these, you are otherwise stuck with it. And these are not in the these are advanced rules. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to play with these, which does make it critical to make your choices. Yeah. Uh, right. I'll take <coughs> this one. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. always six cards available. Mm -hmm. I will now take these two pieces. Hey, <laughs> now you know what you want, right? All right, now I will take as well. I will try to take something, something. Ah, oh, let's see. What temple card I can choose as well. Hey, hello Joy. Welcome to our stream. Joy is also from Melbourne, like us. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. oh yes, I am still on the screen. You have to say hi like this. This is how you say hello, right? I'm not royal. <laughs> you just pretended to be. All right, I'm going to take stuff. Stuff. It is, a, it is a lower effort way of waving. I'm sure that's why the royals do it. They have to do a lot of waving. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take this. I will take mm -hmm. these. Thank you, Ajahn. Uh, that's a question. You must take two cards or could you just pick one? You can pick, pick any number of cards up to the amount of five <coughs> in your hand. Yes. Plus the... Oh, plus it's, it's a separate, yeah. All right. Uh, your turn. You've done it? I have. I okay. took uh, body pieces. So we don't refill this yet until later. Yes, the board is refreshed when um, either... Or when all the heads are gone, or when all the bodies are gone, or when all the tails are gone. Yeah. All right, I'll take this one. Okay, I will take these two. Interesting. I will take these two. All right, so um, our... Boards are oh, my board is starting to fill up. Mm -hmm. You've still got a bit of room, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try to combo these ones. Yeah, that's the thing. Figure out which combo is the best. It's not always possible. I think. I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah. You're um, about to see how what town's yeah. combo is, right? Yeah. So I'm going Ooh. to start by um, revealing. Uh, it'll reveal a bit here, but I will also do. Um, I'll explain why I'm doing it. So. Mm -hmm. I need to clear some space up on my board. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing you do when you do that is you play pieces down. So I'm going to place green, yellow, and I don't have to place all my pieces, but in this case I'm going to. Blue and green. That's okay, Milo. I know what you meant. Taran hand the Musaid funny parties, Taran's hand and play board is on left and his name's on right. Oops. <laughs> yeah, oops. I so, think that's been true for the last five months. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's because if it's on us, like so, then that's correct. Yes. That's because we flipped the board. Anyways, back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll do that. Now, I don't have to do anything else. So, Rini says, um, Igor hates more, uh, learn about this quartal. You probably miss um, the start of this. It is actually pronunciation guide on the on the rule book. It's like quattle, quattle. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, pedantically making it. Uh, All right. Um, so I don't have to play any cards with this. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, when I finish this quattle, I need to have between one and four cards. Mm -hmm. But if I play cards now, it gets them out of my hand. And then I can get more cards that I can put on this. So I'm going to play this one. This needs uh, green. Any number of... You want to put it on the side? Yeah, I might put yep. it on the side. So this one needs a green, any number of yellows, and a black. And I can score it up to twice. Oh, sorry, still, still there. And this one needs a, seven points for a sequence of yellow, black, red, green, blue. Beautiful card. It's beautiful artwork So there. I have yellow, black, red, green, blue. And I have green, yellows, black. Hello, Tuan. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing those. I still need a head and, my, and a tail to finish and even score this quaddle. Yeah. Um, but for for now, that's good. I've got a little bit of room left in my hand. 
could mm. even play another on to if I wanted, but you could. I'm not going to. No. Okay. All right. So that is my turn, mm -hmm. and I'm going to. My feathers are pointing the wrong way, so I'm going to rearrange this. Feathers should point backwards. Mm. I don't have. I don't. <laughs> Hello, Ayan. Welcome. Welcome. Also from um, Canada. I need to. I need something. Is you can see my card here. I need. I need something that is probably not possible yet. Mm. Okay, Tarrant. I will take. What are you doing? I'm just gonna see what you have there. Okay. Interesting. All right. It's a bit of a thing here there. Like the rule itself is really like it's not that hard, but quartal, 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 quartal. I think I want to do this. Oh gosh, it's really bad. I need to. I, I should probably like use one of these because. I really need something and it's not there yet. Okay, I'm gonna do this because otherwise it's not gonna get used. So this is one of the what is it called? The sacrifice, yeah, sacrifice uh, tokens. Sacrifice token. Yes. So I'm gonna sacrifice this token. Well it's not that I'm gonna get any extra thing at the end. So I can choose exactly two body parts or one head or one tail of my chosen colour. So body part it is. So I will choose um, I'll choose this one and let's see. Sorry, everybody. I'm getting a little bit indecisive again. Okay, maybe this one and this one. It's going to be really hard. Yeah. Okay. So is that part of my action? Yeah, I think I use one of these. I believe that's your action. What's that? Mm. Did that just fall out? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So. Apparently, Wyand is um, organizing a surprise for us. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Ooh. <laughs> I look forward. Always appreciate it. Yeah, always appreciate it. All right. Instead of playing a standard action, you may discard a sacrifice token. Okay. They're mostly a stronger version of an existing action. Yeah, yeah okay. You go. All right. Oh yeah, that's yep. gone. I just flip it. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. They say 50 on it because we ultimately use this for uh, scoring. Yeah. Um, Alright. How am I going to score more points off this quartal <laughs> by having them all in a... Grab more... Cards. Or... I can try to... It's going to be weak. I know it's like that. It says, "What is going on?" So it's very ta tactile as well. Like these pieces, you like literally assemble it together. Um, some people say that is it like a zoo? You'll find out. It's certainly got this um, this mm -hmm. tile taking thing. All right. I'm Yellow asks, "What is the meaning of the title of this game?" <laughs> I think you meant you mentioned it. Feathered so it's snake. It's a yeah. It's a feathered Oops. snake, either in mythology or heraldry, or or a combination of both. So yeah, it's a, a feathered snake important yeah. in Aztec uh, yeah. culture. Thank you. Aaron writes Wikipedia, and he has got still a dictionary. Do you? He has yeah. a dictionary. Was, did you say he had? No, you have Wikipedia. No. In, hmm? What? You have this dictionary. Did you say? I have a dictionary. Yeah, like this thick. Yep. Any good. any good home should have a dictionary that's that thick. All right, I've taken pieces. Okay, who has got dictionary at, at their home is this thick? We yep. do. I tried to get rid of it when we moved house, yes. <laughs> but it's actually handy. That was overruled. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, shorty dancer. You don't have a you don't have a dictionary that has the word mangle burzel in it. Uh -huh. Then, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. That's my, that's my mum's um, benchmark for mm -hmm. whether a dictionary is worthy of purchase or not. If it contains oh. the word mangle wurzel. Got it. All right. It's like it's not really the best. 
thing out there at the moment, isn't it? It's nothing, no one's bringing out anything. Seriously, Taryn, <laughs> bring out something, please. All right, I'm going to play this. So this, uh, so one black hat and I've got a one green body and one red so I can I must play a card right but if you don't you have to play a card when you it's an opportunity to play a card so if right. you don't play a card your hand will remain full all oh, right it's uh, the only time you must play a card is when you finish the quad. That's actually a good idea. There you go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're both kind of playing for time very carefully here. <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> you can use your card, one of the sacrificial token, to reset this, isn't it? Oh, no. Not to, re actually, not not to that, reset this. But this to one, reset or those, you can. take that yeah, in your hand. All right, um, I am going to, I am going to spend this because basically I'm mm -hmm. going to force you to be the one to refill the board. And I'm going to take a head with it. I'm going to take a green head. Kotal is, there you go, yeah. Nahuatl, well, means serpent or twin. It is the name of uh, one of the day sign in the Aztec calendar. There you go. Uh, Shorty Dancer haven't had it of it. Yeah, it's it's coming out in September. So whoever wins this will get it like maybe around towards towards the end of September because it's not out yet. Uh, and DJ Murphy say hello. Glad you like the components. Uh he <laughs> and Casey. Alright, we should It's gonna be like most fun once they've uh, uh -huh. once we can sneak them. Yeah. I can't remember what the password is. I think I did it like last week. And yeah, then you didn't tell me what the password is. So. Yeah, well, there you go. So let's just tell everyone the password so uh, how to enter. Oh, by the way, <coughs> um, if you scroll up to the uh, beginning of the conversation, we have Discord channel now if you want to join us there, to connect to us and chat with us there. And the password. So if you want to enter this, if you are new here, um, I see some new peeps is to email us at people.university.giveaway at hotmail.com and this is the password it's thinking about it maybe it's not working mm. there you go I think the computer is thinking there you go, there you go. Aztec. Aztec is the password there Ta da it's no longer YMCA <laughs> because I can't really like uh, I like I like last week's password so that's the password email us <laughs> at this email address and I'm like <coughs> turn it on again I think that computer is a bit laggy. It's time for me to yeah. get a computer for my birthday present or something. Just please, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the password. So that's us uh, uh, taking the subject line to uh, that email. So please send, please send. And the okay. angel Discord. Hello. Okay, you phrase hey, that. Hey, DJ Murphy. Hmm? Okay, you phrase that as it's time for me to do this, but it was clearly my action. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Now I forgot who's, um, whose turn it is. Um, I just spent a spac uh, sacrifice token. Mm -hmm. So it is your turn. Indeed. Yeah. Give me some new things. <laughs> I thought you want me trying to like, no. Now I have three cards. I can't take you them. You can take them from there. Um, not, really any, not really anything that tickles my fancy. Okay. Uh, um, oh, uh, however... Oh, see, I can't really make anything work that well right now. Like, do I just get a card? Just trying to like slow down the game. This is this has never happened before. We're just trying to slow down the game so that somebody gets something else or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take this. That's it. And I think that's part of having. Um... You go, Tarrant. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, I don't really want that new card. Mm -hmm. Yay. 
I have started receiving emails. Yeah, just make yeah. sure that everything is working. And also, please say hello in the chat room so we know you're there. All right. I'll do it. I'll take a tail. All right, so now we... No, 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 not yet. All the tails are gone. No, but it has to be the whole lot is gone. Oh, all the heads yeah. have to be gone as well, do Yeah, they? sorry. Sorry. Let's just double check. You want to redo that? Oh, you can take the body and then it will be gone. No, I'd rather you replenish them. <laughs> Oh, you rather me or pledge than things. How many cards do you have in your hand? Terence is double checking. Three. Okay. Terence is double checking this. Yep. Refinishing. Mm. Oh, yeah. All the heads and tails are gone. There you go. Okay. Yoo hoo! Yeah. <laughs> just trying to. <laughs> this is bad, 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 bad. I mean, there's still going to be heaps of choice for whoever does replenish it, but. It'd be know. nice to force the other player to do it. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my sacrifice so I can get this. <laughs> okay. Yay, yay. So, we haven't really spoken these ones. So, you took one that was... Um, this one? So, this one you would score. You can score one or... T you, you can score three... three yeah, thank you. You can score uh, three points. Stop Molly Meldruming that. <laughs> you can score three points if your Quaddle has no blue or if it has as many reds as blacks. You can score seven if it achieves both of those things. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Aztec, yes. Thanks. Thanks, Wayan. To enter the competition. Thanks to Synapses Games, by the way. So Synapses Games provide the giveaway. They'll send it to you towards the end of September when the game is out. Um, I'm not very happy about about this, but I need to need to get things going. I'll take a blue hit. Yay! Now the middle circle is gone. We we'll refill with yep. everything. Now, let me uh, give me the body so I can help you, maybe. Yep. Or tell, give me tell. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we got two new heads. Okay, so this has to be the center gone or the outside, which is the body is gone. That's the condition. Uh, that was your go, so next is my go here. It's stuck. Go. And one more there, please. Thank you. I seem to have a knack for dropping them upside down. <laughs> I think so. All right. No, my okay. go. I would like to take something. Oh, there is this one. Here go. Okay, I'll take this one. It's the only black mm. body out on the board, and mm. I wanted it. Very good. Uh, I'll take this one. Um, all right. Hi, Hexabist. Um, Welcome. Uh, uh, Jet. Hello. Yeah. How are we feeling about quartal? Quartal. Uh, I've got a question. Does a head or tail count as part of the quartal? The answer is yes. yes. So it is part of it. For the purposes of these, mm -hmm. these tell you it has to be head to tail. It tells you the order it has to go in, but yes, the head or tail does count. And also counts as that. It's yes. this one here. It needs to be exactly 12 pieces, including body, uh, sorry, including head and tail. Okay. I'm going to take this prophecy card. I like that. Um, the peeps are just, uh, the folks are just helping each other. So yes, only the um, email, uh, the subject line is Aztec, just the password. And that's it. Okay, you're yes. up. Am I up? You're up. Ah, what's going on here? <laughs> you're almost full. Yeah. As am I. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like once it's refreshed, like yeah, yeah, 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can only take like one piece. I don't know. I don't remember the rules. If you can, you take two pieces and then you just one, or just can't, cannot. Um, I believe. Sorry, I'll get Taryn to check. Sorry, the there are a few specific. Sorry, I should have done that. Thank you, Lillian. So. You must have room on your player board for the pieces you wish to take. So if you have one piece, you can only take a head or a tail. If you have one space. Got it. Hmm. It's not the best at the moment. I have to like specially think about it in my head as well, which is not the easiest for me. Um, I think. How would that work? Would that work? Would that work? Gosh. I think I'm gonna do. All right. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. All right. Uh, we'll put. Use this cut. So I've got two cuts so far. I'm gonna get the fourth one. Uh, sorry, the third one here. Uh, is it visible? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put here. And here, sorry, what is it? Yeah, <laughs> and I will also play. Uh, gosh, one, two, sorry, everybody. I'm gonna play that so I can, I can assemble as many pieces as I want hang on let me just double check just in case then is that correct that's that that's that and <coughs> that's the black yeah I'm missing something here do I have do I achieve everything here uh, yes, you have three reds, you have three blacks, you have um, two sequences of green, reds, black. Oh, I can't play anything else yeah. here. It did actually, I just noticed, made a slight error before. Mm -hmm. You didn't have three blacks or three reds in the quadrille when you played these, so you weren't oh, actually yeah, allowed to yeah. play those. I'm sorry, but um, I do now. Yep. So uh, a minimum of three is achieved, and this is also a minimum of three for the black. And this is minimum of one. And then I will also play one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, this one. Yeah, ha! <laughs> so there's no blue. There's no, uh, the num black pieces is equal to red pieces. Yep. Uh, that's correct. Yes, so good point. And I can only take, uh, I can only do one of these cuts. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do I get the points later? The points are all counted up at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. so That's right. We'll flip these over. Yeah, let's put everything there. And I probably put it on the side so they doesn't interfere with my other things. Like I can have, I can start a second uh, quarter if I want to, but uh, you can't have more than two unfinished at a time. Yes, and you can never join two unfinished ones together. Correct. So I put this to the side. That's my first one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it here as, as a reminder. We can see it. Is there a solo? Uh, let me just check the rule. Uh, it is a one to four, so it there is, is a solo mode. There's a solo mode. There carefully. you go. Right. So, um, Hexy Beast ask. Um, I don't like the design of the game. Yeah, it's it's so colorful. It's a great table presence. And um, it's textile. Yes. All right. I. Against my better judgment, I'm going to take a red head. So now I have three heads. Mm -hmm. mm. So this is like first specific. Rini says so a first specific specific way of pronouncing it. Sorry, yes. Yep. You done? Yes. What did you do? Sorry. I took a red head. So you're basically full. I red head. Full. You like a red head? <laughs> That's a trap question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I would like to actually I'm using this really like like not tomorrow <laughs> some fast 
Yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my last sacrifice of token so that you can see it as well. Yep. Flip that. So I'm going to discard all of these on display. Yep. And as many from your hand as you wish. Yep. Do I decide now or not? Um, these I can't. I this comes draw up first. These first. Okay. And then I can discard as many as Terrence said. I discard this. I discard this and I discard that's it all right so let's discard it thank you and then I can take <coughs> stuff I can take that one I will take this one and I'll take that one thank you sir okay mm -hmm. now I've got a few options I can look at here yeah which just also helps with Tarrant you still have two sacrifice all tokens you haven't used, so I'm going to put this aside because they're all gone and used up. Okay, now I do actually already meet this one mm -hmm. on this koala, so that's <gasps> probably so good. a good one for me to You're take. Welcome. But I can only I can only hold one more at the moment. Thank you, Milo. I also know that now that Stella's out of sacrifice tokens, if she takes any of these that she doesn't truly want. Mm -hmm. Um, she stuck with them. Correct. So, do one ask if we ever play solo game? We have indeed. I actually have videos for um, I play solo. No, what is it called? Stella plays solo. I play Castle of the, the Castle of Burgundy solo. So good. And I played Flip the Dice game solo. Uh, Taron also played it, but not on video. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while. I played solo when we didn't live together, and I have barely played solo since we have. What did you play when we not lived together? Um, I tried scythe a couple of times. Scythe. Really? I thought that was when we lived together. Sorry. No, I this borrowed. Like, <laughs> don't I mess. borrowed your scythe and played oh, it solo. Oh, okay, that's Which funny. was handy for. Um, I did find, because we're very passive uh, industrial players and the solo mode, uh, your opponent is quite um, aggressive. I found that helped me to be more aggressive in Scythe, which is yeah. good. Mm, Terraforming I Mars, I enjoyed Terraforming that as Mars, a solo yeah, that's mode. Good. Uh, and Nemo's War, I think you've played, played that a couple really of good, times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, before we forget, um, this is again, mm -hmm. so just, just in case you miss it. Please email us, meeple.university.giveaway at hotmail.com with Aztec in the subject line. And also, uh, because I've seen some um, new folks here, please um, help us. It helps us if you hit like, just punch that like button and then subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. Uh, we do live playthrough like this um, almost every weekend. Yep. Yeah, so get back to the game. All right, um, I am going to... <laughs> I just, just interrupt your turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like all the way down there. I'm going to... This feels dreadfully inefficient, but I'm going to take this <laughs> while it's on. Mm -hmm. Which one was it, sorry? This was the um, yellow, black, yellow, black, You can red. show me. <laughs> yes. Okay, yellow, thank you. Red. All right, my go? Yes. I'll take that. Oh. Sorry. All right, I'm going to do some assembly work now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do black, yellow, Massive. green. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so that completes this particular one twice. Mm -hmm. I'm up to nine pieces on this coatl. Yeah. Um, Then I can add this card to it mm -hmm. because I know I've completed that once. I don't have anything else I can add to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to. Hmm. Deep thinking of Tarot here. Yeah, I'm going to start a mm. second one. And Milo asks, you may, uh, you can keep thinking, I'll answer it. Uh, Milo asks, when do you win? Or are there some standard rounds? Yes, so the end game triggers is somebody completes uh, the, their third 
quarter here, a third of these, and or um, not and or uh, one of these bags empty. So this um, bag of bodies sounds pretty horrid, but <laughs> a bag of bodies, bag of tails, tails and, heads. and heads, which we don't expect to happen at two players. Yeah. But it could happen at four. Yes. Sorry. And then um, we go around until each player has had the same number of, number of turns. That, okay, yeah. Thank you. Although, mm -hmm. if you if I finish it, you get two actions on your last mm -hmm. turn. Yes. Ah, welcome, Wayan, on our Discord chat. Uh, <laughs> Discord chats. Uh, is that Blue Amy? Okay, I'm going to say, hey. Your turn. Um... Should I cap this one off? No, you shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like where this game's going for me. That's alright. I'll finish it. I'll finish it there. You finish it there. So I'm gonna add a. Um, I'm gonna start a blue quadrilo over here. Alright, I'm gonna take this. You go. <laughs> Back to you. You wanna finish it off so we can reset? Yep. I'm gonna take yep. these blues. Mm -hmm. Head. Thank you. Uh, you, can on, you can be on turning them the right way up oh. to me because. Hey! <laughs> <Wait. laughs> yeah. Oh, you can just put it right the first time around. <laughs> but where's the teamwork in that? Yeah, another, okay, fine. Another connected pair. Yeah, I know. I'll help you with this. Help. Help! One more. Alrighty. So that is your turn? Yes. Very good turn. Mm. <laughs> I will take... I'll take this one. Okay. I'll grab these. Of course. I got this. Haha. <laughs> I'll get these. <laughs> Sometimes it's like really quick if you go what you want, but if you don't, I'm like, oh, you, you know, buying time, what you do? All right, I'm going to play because I'm full. I will play this. And... Hmm. I'm not really playing, sorry. <laughs> this. And then that. And then this. And then this, play that. One, two, three, four. Need another green. Five. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I will play. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, crap. Sorry. One. Do I want to play this? Let me just like assemble it and then see if I change my mind. Is that right? That's minimum three, right? Yes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yes! <laughs> so, so, so happy. Okay, so all maximum at completed quarter here. I don't think that guy. Sorry. Can, cause oh, no yeah, room. sorry. Yeah. Never mind. Taryn doesn't see that. Um, so I have a minimum of three green here. Oh, sorry. It's like all, all the way there. Th mm -hmm. Minimum three green here. Minimum of three red. It's me two. It's not a lot of points. And that's um, green, yellow, yellow, green, which is two points. Mm -hmm. And this means yellow and green is equal amount. Just three and three. And then exactly six. Yep. Okay. So this is completed. Yep. That's my second. You have two completed. I have none. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rearrange it here. All right. Um, I think it's time. I Are wish you? I'd done this one turn earlier now, but it's time for you to give up. I think it's time for me to <laughs> spend a sacrifice turn <laughs> to sweep Oops. these. Okay. Oh. Oh, I wish I'd done this one turn earlier. <laughs> Sorry. Don't. You can just take your pick. No. Well, I did the same thing, right? And then true. Yeah. The timing is very similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And why and say I keep receiving notifications. So you need to um, um, I turn off this as well. So on the 
desktop if while on desktop on discord you can just um go to settings um and then you go to um one of those sorry and then you can go to settings and then you can disable desktop notification that's what i do because otherwise you get pinging um although i do check it here and there but i understand sometimes it's like ping 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 uh yeah i have to find out how because i forgot how i think yeah it will be like the um i'm using the web desktop and then you go to the cork on the near your name in the top left on discord somebody can probably help you better than me this is quite new there you go notification you go to notification on the left hand side under app settings and then you can just enable desktop notification at the top just turn it off that's how i did mine hopefully that helps hi sabrina welcome <laughs> i didn't say that those quartal bags looks like bags of different flavor chips to me <laughs> Ooh, chips let's have some chips after this it is like you want some chips yeah <laughs> Oh, I'll sorry. I did not get the uh, prophecy cards I wanted. Mm. That's all right. I was staking it on that. Cool. Mm -hmm. You're up. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, Tarrant. Interesting. I don't know if sh I should do that. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm just gonna grab some grab some stuff. Sorry, everybody, <laughs> indecisive now. Hmm. Yeah, they do look like chips on the screen. <laughs> yeah. They're cloth, though, of course. Chips. Okay, I'll take this. All right, I'm gonna do some assembly. Mm -hmm. Blue, blue, yellow. Well done, so you completed that. I'll play this green. So I've got three greens to complete that. This is three, six, nine, twelve, and it has as many yellows as blues. There. So I can grab this one. Is it? Oh, okay, is it 12 pieces? Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, not that I didn't believe That's you, okay. but I didn't believe you. <laughs> nah. All right, well done. That's a okay. long, nice one there. All right, and now... Look, look, it's moving. Sorry. On top of that, I mm -hmm. will... <laughs> Doc Yoka, so yes, you can strategically end the game early before your opponent's able to. Yes, as long as you can finish, you know, the quarter and then play the right cards and that's yes uh, a minimum of one of prophecy cards for one quarter and maximum of four plus one of these yep. mm -hmm. all right i'll add uh, yep, i'll add those two reds there okay and i won't play anything down for it okay all right um huh. i'll take that you go, Tarrant. I will take... <laughs> Don't look! <laughs> okay. Alright. Interesting, Tarrant. What is this? Is that black and black? Two blacks. Basically exactly two blacks in a row. Mm -hmm. With something different on either side. Mm -hmm. I'll take this. And that's it. Yeah. Um. What would you take? I'll take. Uh, Quite thinky. We almost finished though. Yep, I think I will go for uh, no, uh, 
I need to. I've got the questions. I have to have three uh, complete three quarter to end the games in Taran as, as well. At the moment, I have two, so not yet. Um, that's correct. Yes. So sorry, Takio girl, sorry to say that. Do I miss a question? Okay, I'll grab that. <laughs> what did yep. you grab? I grabbed this one. Okay. What just came out? Nothing's interesting. Nothing. Hmm. All right, I'll do this. Now reset. Thank you. Parents get something good. <laughs> All right. See, you don't have a tail. Refill. There you go. Now you can fix it for yep. me. Teamwork, see? Yeah, about thank you. Teamwork. There you go. There you go. Chipped away. All right. Milo, it's late that in Netherlands. Yeah, I don't know. Um, how, almost be so late in Netherlands. Good on you for staying up so late. I usually go to bed at 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> or 10 maybe. Yeah. All right, always, your turn. Always appreciate everyone being on board. Of course. Um... I think I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I could take. Ah, I can't. The pieces you want never come up. It's very frustrating. Zero zero. F oh, um, just past twelve. So twelve fifty two in the UK. Wow. Yeah, we're so far. Yeah, we are so far different on time from yeah. the UK. This is really um, appreciate. Yeah, the dragon is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dutch Yoda. Wow, one fifty-two in Netherlands. So it's closer to UK time, but a bit even later. Appreciate you all here watching us. I'm me, take this one. My then. dragon eating Terence dragon. <laughs> No, it's not. That's, that's not the game, sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if that had come up earlier, I could have sequenced this in a, an almighty profitable Take that. way. You go. All right, so you've got enough pieces there to end the game. <laughs> I don't know. You're like, oh, you, you actually, you, you're right, yeah. If, if I want to. But is it a good idea or not? Ah, Alfin and then Rich. I like the sounds of it. I know I probably butchered the pronunciations of that, and I'm sure Rene will help correct me. <laughs> ah, Hexabis got to work at 7 a.m. Oh, ouch. Yeah, the backs and cards look nice. I agree with Stephen. Mm. What did you do? Sorry, I missed it. You sound so painful, Tara. Um, yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Let's see. I don't know. You can't, <laughs> you can't double complete those. Mm -hmm. So, yep. All right. Yep. Um, yeah. So it's not the best, but is it the best to end it now? Because to prevent Terran. So if I if I finish you finish it, it, I get one more action. So everyone okay. else gets everyone else gets one. It's a combination of everyone getting another turn and everyone having the same number of actions. Got it. All right. I'm gonna. Do this and uh, that, that, that. Eesh. Hmm. Okay, that. This is not the best. This is not the best move, but I think I have to end it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. Oh. Sorry, everybody. I'm like... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. This is like a waste, but... Uh, all right, I'm going to do that. So that's that's okay. Yep. This gives me two, so that's, that's valid. I can take this for six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't have equal reds. And no, six pieces. All oh, right. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Four, six pieces. That, yes. And that's it. 
Your last turn, Terrence. My last turn, gonna, so... I, I think can... I'm going to regret this because Terrence is like building up for that. But I just want to... I feel like I need to end it now. Otherwise, Terrence will score bigger. This he's... is not an incredibly great placement. But... Oh, okay. Just force him to just like place and do everything. I'm going to... Yeah. So this doesn't score me anything. I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to gather all my quartal, quartal to here. Right, I've created a nice um, nice one here. Mm -hmm. uh, it has... Can I swipe this away? Uh, yep, take yep. them away. So it has three reds. Mm -hmm. It's got three greens in a row. And it meets this one with well um, no blacks and equal greens. So I have only right. created two kawattles. They are longer than yours. Yeah. But... It's all about the objectives they meet. Yes, so I'm going to put this on the side here. And yep. we flip it. Uh, so uh, that one is flippable, and then that is a scoring board. Okay, and, and put a piece we use our... Oh, my, that's right, no, we use yeah. our... Um, we use our pieces, this colour. So. so I'm yellow, and you are green. Start with zero. All right, let's do it one by one. Yep. Um, let's go... Uh, we'll mm -hmm. go back and forward. We'll right, take right. your... We'll go shortest to longest back and forward, and then it will all be right. anticipation on your last <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, now, it is the end of the game, everybody. So, again, um, one of the last chance then. So, I'm going to just quickly, for those who hasn't entered, so give you a chance, last chance to enter, last chance to enter. Mm -hmm. Email us, meeple.university.giveaway at hotmail.com. And then the subject line is Aztec. To a chance to win one a copy of this game when it's out around end of September, thanks to Synapsis Games. All righty. Now... I also want, um, for next week, we either want to do Back to the Future. This is like we brought it up last week as well. We either want to do Back to the Future. What is it? There are two that we have. Back to the Future. Dice, dice through time. Thank you. Dice through time. I forgot the title. <laughs> either that or Exit Game. The mis mis Mysterious Museum, I think. Mysterious Museum. So we yeah. play Exit Game together. Or those, one of those two. And then this Thursday evening, US time, I'll be playing live on the Dice Tower. And that's the other Back to the Future, Back to the Future, Back in Time on Tabletopia. <laughs> All right. So, but there's no, there's no third one. It's not a trilogy like the series. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All um, right. Yep. Cool. Uh, yes. So let's score. Let's score this guy first. Mm -hmm. So this one here. Yes. Oh, actually, sorry. I mean, I know that this is this is pretty petty, but um, if you can help, if you haven't done so, hit the like button. Um, that will really help. And subscribe to us if you haven't already done so. All right, that's it. Sponsor messages is gone. Okay. Da -da -ding. So this actually only meets six, so that's three points. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is your yellow, so three yep. points for that. Three points for that one for this this drag. Score. Let's just like put this aside so it's not confusing. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this one only gets me so green, blue, green, blue, only three. So okay. it's a low scoring one. One, two, three. All right, so this is gone. Cool. Mm. Now we'll score my shorter one. This is just Snakes going away, around. snakes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so my temple card, mm -hmm. um, I have no blacks and I have as many blues as reds seven. in here. So that is seven Very points. Very good. Wow, Darren's already ahead. Then I've got a single set of three greens One, two, in a row. Three. Yep. And I've got three reds, mm -hmm. which is two points. All right. Now what we'll do, we'll use a second scoring marker because the tiebreaker is the highest scoring quaddle. So I'll just sort of use this and start counting from six, and then we'll have. Uh, Is it? Um, it makes sense. Though. All right, all right. So people, um, forwarding starting to come in. So back to the future. Okay, and then back to the future and exit game. Back to the future dies through time, and then exit. Um, Amanda Panda. No, it's not the same. Um, I think they play a different exit game, and this is the mysterious museum. So I asked Cosmos what would they recommend. They recommend this game would be a good. I play through. Yep. Uh, back to the future. Back to the looks like probably back to the future. Okay. Um, you're welcome below. All right. So we do it. Uh, this one. 
It's wiggle wiggle to the... Yeah. Now this one this one packed a lot of points for not many uh, pieces, so mm -hmm. you got a really nice combo on yeah. this. Yeah. So I scored this, the top and the bottom, so six pieces and then the same amount of yellow and green. So that's seven. Yep, so from six points up to 13. What is this again, sorry? That's um, each of these will mark each individual quarrel, oh, and that the, way if we have yep, to work yep, yep. the tiebreaker, we've got it. Very good. This one, I only score one of Butcher's two points, because green... The green, yellow, sorry, sorry. green, yellow, yellow, green. Yep. Okay. And this one is, I'm going to put it there so people can see it properly. Yep. I forgot. And this one is the number of yellow. There's three, so that's two points. There's not really that much point, actually. Mm -hmm. And the number of green, there's three. So that's two points. Okay. Okay. So all up, that one was worth 13 points. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is my last one. Mm -hmm. It's my what, biggest what? one. Hang on, what's going on here? Same thing. 13 point, not 12. Oh. No, I was on 12. I got 12 for this. All right. All right, so my temple card. So that means my highest one is 13 points. Yeah, uh, from 6 to 19, yes, 13 points. Okay. So far. All right, so I got uh, a 12 length kawaddle with as many yellows as blues. Mm -hmm. So I get 7 points for that. Yep. Um, there are three greens in it, so that's two points. There is one sequence of yellow, blacks, red, so that's two oh, points. Oh, hang on. This is a bit too black. Oh, it can no? be as many blacks. Oh, it has many. Any number. Okay, I can't remember that. Oh, I've, I missed that. You misread that. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I've got two sets of green, yellow, black. All right, let me check it because it's important that we... Yeah. Because I forgot that it's here. Yeah, any number. Ah, oh, so I could have played other... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so I've got two sequences of green, yellow, black. Yep. So that's six points. So Back to the Future looks like we're in the... So it looks like we're going to be playing Back to the Future that's through time. Okay. And I've got a sequence of yellow, black, mm -hmm. red, green, blue. Mm -hmm. So that's seven points. So that was a 24 point kawaddle, but that is my matter. last one. So you need... Is, it's kind of like confused me a little bit. Isn't that my 13, like my highest point? Your first, 13? well, basically it's just delineating. So your first one was six, your second one is, th is 13. We'll just calculate the differences Sorry. between the markers. Okay, that is my hand, so it's not... And this is my uh, last quartal. So let's wiggle your quartal away. Run the board, maybe. <laughs> and this one's done too. Yep. Thank you. And that's gone. Yep. Thank you. And my last one is this one. So first one is there's no blue here, and a r black equals to red. So that's seven points. Yep. Ten, can I ten can ten I remove that? It's really confusing. Sorry. Is All that right. okay? And then people that at home, and that one as well. Thank you. That's better. It's slightly yeah. confusing. True. If, if you don't, get, if you land on top of me, mm -hmm. I'll have the tie break. So, mm -hmm. so that one is. Yeah. See, I sh I could have put it not, but it doesn't really matter. But you've got two sets of this. Do I? Yep. Green, red, black. Oh, green, <coughs> red, black. Yay! So that's six points. Six. Yeah, that's more than I thought actually. Thank you. The thirty-two. One, two, three. <laughs> Two points. <gasps> so you won. And two points for the black. So we are tied on 36. What do you mean two points for the black? Three blacks. Have three I? Three reds. Did I give? Oh, you haven't gave me this one. Not yet. So okay. you got seven and six and mm -hmm. um, two and two for a total of 17. You're on 19, which took you to 36, which brings us to the tiebreaker I prepared for. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. Which is the highest scoring kawaddle. So I got 24 for that kawaddle. Well done. You got 19, no, 15, what was it? 17 <laughs> for this one. So I win it on the tie break. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So we, Tarrant won on a tie break. That was really close. We're really, really, really close. And it's a good demonstration mm -hmm. as well. We sort of, the first time we played, it wasn't clear how, whoops, I killed him. Yeah. You killed my dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't clear you know, did you, if someone was racing quickly, yeah. would you have the time to score um, more points on 
fewer longer koalas, which yep. you certainly, yeah, certainly can. So. Absolutely. So that's last minute in our enter the competition to win a copy of the game towards end of September, thanks to Sipnasus Games. Um, it's such a close game, and okay, it looks like back few looks like we are playing Back to the Future Dice Through Time next week. Next week, and then Friday is there back, back to the Future, Back to the Future, Back in Time on the Dice Hour, and that'll be just me. Yeah, and with and that's actually quite appropriate yeah. because Back in Time is very much based on the first movie. And Dice Through Time um, is a lot more travelling back and forth. Yes. Which is like the second movie. The sequel. Yeah. And the West is in that. So it's, it's in the right order. There you go. I approve. Uh, <laughs> of course, <laughs> does the order really matter in uh, when there's time travel? And also, somebody said, the Hexy Beast, it kind of matched your shirt. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> Colourful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is it. The game will back to the table again. So, um, I'm just playing with uh, quadrilles now. <laughs> so we are now going to draw the winner. So as usual, I am going to um, go away while Tarrant does it on his own. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yep. Am I on the screen or am no? I, you're not. No, I'm just talking. Yes. Yeah. They don't even know I'm, I'm away. No, that's true. <laughs> I am. Though. Keep it secret. <laughs> Too late. They'll be surprised when I'm the only one talking, though, because that's out of character. Now, can you please check how many emails? I forgot. Oh, you forgot to check. All right. So, um, thank you, everyone, for entering. We shall see how many we have. Um, I select them all, right, and then it tells me. Ah, yes. Um, where does it tell me? Ah yes, make them unread. Did that work? No, I'm going to have to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry for this unthrilling television here. 18, 24. How many? I'll come back if you want. 32, 33, 34. <laughs> 34? 34 entrants this week. Mm -hmm. I'll double check as well from here. How's that? Oh, no, I counted them. That's all right. 35. 35? Okay. No, hang on. This I have to move one conversation. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, hang on. So while we're doing this, um, I will think of something interesting to say. So dice through time next week. It's a um, yeah, it's a cooperative game. Uh, it's a cooperative pick up and deliver game. So you'll be heading around. Dice tell you what actions you can take. You'll head around the Back to the Future world, uh, moving items back to where they're meant to be. You have to avoid Biff, of course, because he's the antagonist. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah. The summon junk email. Yep. And it's got a nice little time travel mechanic because you can help someone in the future by leaving dice behind from the past. Uh, so that is uh, an interesting and quite easy to play little mechanic. Alright, so we'll shuffle the wheel. We've got our 37 entrants. Let's shuffle and spin. Let's see who's going to win. It's an exciting moment where a number comes up that means no that means nothing until we look through. Number <gasps> Fifteen. Congratulations. Number fifteen. Number 15. Okay, now we right. count back from old to new. Count back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Seven, Seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Is that thirteen, fourteen, fifteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. Shorty Dancer is the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, you won a copy of this game. And uh, we saw you on the chat room as well. So um, what I'll do once I've um, once we finish this live playthrough, we're gonna reply to your email, and we're gonna get your and uh, your details there. So, or you can just email me if you see this from that email. Um, that is it, everybody. Is it? So hopefully you can join us with Back to the Future. That is a cooperative game, uh, both on Friday on the Dice Tower, it's me only on actually Tabletop Simulator. Yep. They got a really good 
What are you doing, Taryn? I'm playing with the cuddles. Okay, well, you just show people. <laughs> it's illegal. You can't join it. But it's so cool. <laughs> this is what we do usually after we play this. Um, and we um, hopefully we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I've got like I've seen a lot of familiar names as well, and so thank you for being here like week after week after week after week after week after week. So um, for those who are new, who is new, we are doing this um, almost every weekend similar time. Karen's still playing with this and got distracted with it. Yep. Okay. I'm making some aerobics quartals. Okay. Well, you can play. Bye, Karen. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you next time.